How y'all doing? Got another little episode of Bulls Country Kitchen. Uh, you know, I guess I'm not really acclimated how to host these little cooking shows for you guys. Uh, I don't know how to start my introductory off to each little episode. But uh, like I said, I figured tonight while I'm in here doing my little thing, I might as well get it on, get it on video and upload it. Because I come up with cooking some of this stuff out of my head. Sometimes it gets looking pretty good. So what not? I'm going to tell you, it's, uh, it's March 5th, 2021. It's a little late. It's 9 p.m. By the time this video uploads tonight, it'll be a little later. But uh, my 15-year-old, you know, he's doing some weightlifting, trying to stay prepared for football. He just came in. He did uh, he had weightlifting class after school today, and he stayed for a basketball game. And, uh, you know, I keep forgetting when I get around Home Depot, Lowe's or something, I need to get an apron. So instead of subjecting you guys to my superb figure, I went ahead and put on a pair of my work overalls to do this little cooking video for you guys tonight. But uh, like I said, let me get back to this. My son just got home. I want to burn a damn toast. So this is what I got rigged up for him tonight. You know, all this stuff going on, we got, what, 10 million people out of work, 17 million out of people out of work in America. This pandemic shit's crazy. Everybody's got to run around. You got to keep a mask on your face. We can't do nothing. Times are hard. What can you do? I mean, keeping a poor working man down. All right. So tonight, this boy's going to get something. I want you to get a close-up on this food here. What are you doing? I can't keep a camera guy. All right, so this right here, I, I guess you can figure out what that is. From where I come from, we call that hillbilly steak. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm putting on a piece of toast for this little kid. He's like 210 pounds now. He's trying to, uh, I got a couple things going tonight. Get, 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 get a shot of that uh, hillbilly steak. Then over here, over here I'm living a high life. High life, you know. Living a high life right here with some pork chops. $1.49 a pound. Come on now. I gotta jump on those when I see him in a store like that. Alright, so this kid, he tells me, he keeps coming. Crying all the time. I'm hungry, Dad. I'm hungry. Dad, what do you got to eat? So, you know what? I'm just going to give him, he can have the hillbilly steak tonight. And, uh, I'm saving the pork chops for myself. Put uh, a couple fried potatoes to go with it. You can get a shot of these potatoes. We'll just make them a little. He ain't starving, he said. In fact, I don't even know if the kid will eat it, but. I got a feeling he will. So what I'm gonna do here, you got a couple potatoes, you got a couple pieces of hillbilly steak and a piece of toast, right? All right, we're gonna hit it with some, oh, don't do that. Oh, don't put no gravy on that. Oh man, I just broke the law right there. Lord have mercy. That's how I roll. Now me, that's the kicker for that. So. What I'm going to do, just so this kid can give you a precursor, because this ain't a real kind of meal he gets, something I don't make a lot. Where'd my damn butter knife go? You got to cut in. Here you go. That fork's clean. I don't do nothing, but you need a butter knife. I don't want to mess my video up every time I grab it. So, like I said, I can't keep a camera guy. You know, Bulls country's a mess over here. Friday night, nine o'clock at night, I'm home cooking hillbilly steak and gravy and potatoes, man. I should be out raising a damn ruckus somewhere, getting the law chasing me. I don't know what's going on with me. Now you gotta kinda cut it in, you gotta get a bite of the toast with it, man. Do I gotta train you how to do everything? Now get a piece of that tater on there too, with the toast and that hillbilly steak. Now, let's see. Could you, pretty good? On a, on a one to 10, what do you got? 
seven. A seven? A seven or an eight. We know better than that. Oh, you want another bite before you? I'm gonna dish out a plate of these pork chops before we get off here. Yeah, man. I mean, you know, get times get hard like they are right now. You can't ever go wrong with some bologna, couple potatoes. As long as you got that, you're in the game. You know. Put some gravy on the back side. All right, here, I'm going to just try to play this uh, pork chops. Don't hit no buttons and mess my video up. Okay, like I said, it's Friday night. Now, what I'm going to eat, just in case you guys are wondering, pork chops. I'm going to pass on the pork chops here. I'm going to give the pork chops to my daughter in a minute. I'm going to be eating a plate of this hillbilly steak and some potatoes here with some of this gravy and some hot sauce. And then I'm going to wash it down with some Boy, look at the beat on that Look at there That's got to be about 160 Look at the beat on that I'll be damn Now I'm going to wash it down with some of that fago there Like I said, you can see it's ready to roll uh, Now, I got one more order of business to handle And that's my 10 year old daughter so this is the kind of stuff that American dads get tied up into when you're like me. And you're stuck in the house with the kids and their mama ain't around to chase them around. So, all right, Mamie. Mamie. All right, let, let your sister through. Okay, tell me what you want. You want some of that? You want hillbilly steak with some gravy and potatoes or do you want pork chop, potatoes, and ketchup? No cornbread tonight, sorry. Pork chop? All right. Well, look at here, get a close up of this, what I got going on. Oh, I gotta turn these off. I cooked up like four pounds of pork chops. I don't know, five. But you gotta understand the bones in them. All right, you're gonna have to cut this yourself. So I don't know where, you want onion? A couple onions ain't gonna kill you? Can you handle that? All right, here's your potatoes. Got that? Turn around and get yourself a fork. All right, so, you know what? It's a good thing I have all these built-in qualities about me, and I can do this stuff on the fly, because I used to always be running around the hip side of my grandma paying attention when she was flipping and flopping shit all over the kitchen. Grease flying everywhere, man. I mean, it'd be August. 97 degrees outside to go in that kitchen. She had chicken and dumpling steam rolling Like all four burners going on the damn stove. I'm like, what are you doing woman? Well, I sat down and I figured out what she was doing because I sure couldn't get enough of it You got yourself a fork? All right, you got to do the American taste. You got to do the taste test. Cut yourself a piece of that pork chop Do this for the fans out here at Bulls Country. Let daddy help you here. We got to hurry up. We're running out of video time. Give me that knife. Let's see how my pork chops come out for you. All right. Give that pork chop a test run. You want some ketchup before you do that? Mm. Or you want mustard? Who eats mustard on their ketchups, right? I mean, who eats, who eats, who eats mustard on their uh, pork chops? I've never tried that one. Get the potato <laughs> with it and ketchup. Yeah. Show all these people out there how we roll over here at Bulls Country. You sure you don't want some of this gravy over that pork chop? Uh-huh. Are you sure? I'm sure. You count calories? Now oh, come on, keep it together. You ain't gotta be silly. We want a, we want an honest opinion. The people out here at Bulls Country land wanna know. You want some of this Louisiana hot sauce on there? Huh? Do you? Mm-mm. You sure? Mm -hmm. Okay, they won the verdict. How's the pork chop and that fried potato? Pretty good? I, I, you tell me. I can't. It's good enough for dinner for you tonight? Yeah. Can you live with it without some cornbread? All right, get it going. Go on. All right, I guess I'll feed this plate to the dog. Charlie, come here. 
You want? You don't even want none of this. Should I give it to the dog or you want it? I want it. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, can't ask me how many calories are in that plate. I tell you guys a true story. I'm not trying to be silly here. I think a month and a half ago, I really said, you know what? I'm like, I'm going to get on a treadmill, trapped in the house. I better do something. I'm like, I'm going to be 325 pounds if I don't do something. Because, you know, I get in here cooking sometimes at noon, sometimes at 9 o'clock at night. But I went for four weeks in a row. I would did six to eight miles in a, in a week, per week, for four weeks straight. When I started my little, whatever you want to call it, my little marathon, and I thought I could trim down and get a nice little physique going, I truthfully started, I hit that treadmill, and I got some nice new digital weight scales. I was 282 pounds in my underwear. I did four weeks. I did, on an average, eight miles a week. And I'm not joking, I went up to 292 pounds. So, I, I'm just not active enough right now, I guess. But anyway, one more last shot of these pork chops for you guys. All right. And then, get a nice beat on that. That's some pure fago for you right there. I think Fagel's a Michigan-made product also. Here, take a shot of that so they know it's not. I don't want it. So they know it's Fagel. I already got some over You know, there. I'm pulling her chain off there. I already took some. Ah, oh, man, I'll tell you what. I don't know when I'm going to quit climbing around. Hopefully someday I'll really break loose and learn how to play that guitar for y'all, though. But check it out, though. What a bead. Get it in the light over here. Look at that. Look at the bead on that. Now, Tim Smith, tell me what that is. Come on, Mark Digger. What kind of proof is that holding? Hey, I hope you guys can laugh and come out of this craziness we're in right now as much as I am because I'm dealing with the best I can. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to get off here because my boy wants to get at these uh, this hillbilly steak with that gravy and potatoes. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna have to tackle me a big plate of that stuff too. So until next time, I'm getting out of here. Later.